Hello, everyone. We're back again at KubeCon Paris this time around. And we have uh, one of our esteemed guests from Veeam, Matt Slotten, who I also had the privilege to interview last time. Isn't that right, Matt? Yes. Yeah. I think you and I spoke in Chicago. Familiar faces. We just have to go to KubeCons to... Yeah. <laughs> we just have to get a KubeCons to hang out because we don't, we don't meet elsewhere in the world. So, Matt, what do you got for us this time, Rajan? I'm super excited to be here, guys. Thank you so much. First of all, love the Sousa folks. As I meet more and more Sousa folks, I am more enamored with, with you, with your company. I was hanging out with Jeff yesterday. Yep. And we were we were chatting about the Sousa band, and uh, I'm a bit of a music nerd, too, so we were having fun with that. But, uh, yeah, I guess my name's Matt Slauson. <laughs> I'm here with uh, Veeam Kasten. And uh, yeah, like in Chicago, I know we had a good good interview there. So uh, we've got some updates, which I'm excited to talk about. And uh, yeah, just uh, practicing my French and uh, having a good time here of hers. Right. And we do not want to speak French on this one, don't we? I will try my best <laughs> to not speak French. And that's not very hard. It won't even require that much effort because it's so hard for me to kind of speak. So. Yeah. And uh, do you think we will get the best booth award this time around? I think you guys are certainly in the, in the running. Uh, the setup is incredible. The lighting's great. I just, this booth is awesome. Yeah. Did you, did you get a chance to check out the portrait behind you, by the way? Beautiful. Look at that person. <laughs> is it by uh, someone at Seuss? No, I don't think so. Ah, okay. It's the next best thing. We're all being replaced. It's fine. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I don't think I could have managed that for sure. So yeah. This is it's, yeah, it's, it's I've actually I've started using generative AI for like blog posts, not not for the text. I write my own text, but for like the images and, and whatnot. It's incredible it, just in terms of the quality you get back and you know, you obviously have to get good at prompting it. But uh yeah, no, it's it's definitely in to, to flip it back to work, it, it is a useful workload running on Rancher and Kubernetes today. So definitely something that's fun. Yeah. yeah. What about uh, you know, some of the cool stuff that we were speaking about earlier on? Uh, do you have slides? Do you have demos? What What is it? I, I got everything. So, uh, no, I definitely definitely want to focus on a demo for sure. Um, okay. But, yeah, I think big updates we have are around Harvester. You know, oh. So I've been working quite a bit on Harvester. Made some good progress the past few weeks, actually. Okay. Uh, so, yeah, we can definitely get into, get into that. But obviously, you know, there's still a lot of love between us and Rancher. Absolutely. Providing that uh, cloud-native backup, I guess. I should say probably what I do. But, yeah. uh, <laughs> but cloud-native backup, we are... Cloud native solution uh, being casted that lives in the Rancher cluster, or K3s or RKE1, to what have you. Uh, and also for, for your customers, I was actually talking to some of the SUSE execs yesterday uh, about helping them migrate from helping customers migrate from RKE1 to RKE2s. Actually, I think we can do. Oh, well, okay. So there you have it, folks. The cloud native backup, folks. For, according to, so that's cloud native backup, according to Matt himself. So that's actually a thing that uh, we've been seeing as well, because a lot of customers are migrating from RKE to RKE2. And yeah, it definitely seems like this is one of the focus areas that we're going to be partnering together for the next couple of months, years, maybe? I think years, yeah. No, I mean, I, I think, you can, you know, better together story for sure. Yeah. I, I get, the more I spend time with Susan, you know, the, the more I, I see there's just these great opportunities to help each other out. I mean, yeah, I mean, so yeah, obviously we provide backup in DR, but mobility is a big, even key aspect as well. And I know it was an RKE one was a different containerized Docker to container D. Uh, so perfect use case for us, we have what's called a transform engine. So we can move the data and the metadata kind of in one fell swoop, but we can also transform things as we go. So if you need to change storage class, if you're coming from legacy storage to Longhorn or, or you know, any any storage to any storage that supports CSI volume snapshots, we, we can meet it. Yeah, and I'm excited to learn more about it in some of the stuff that you're going to show us. Absolutely, yeah. yeah. I, I'm very excited to show that. We've definitely walked through the Harvester stuff. I've been, I, I come from a VM background, so I got really excited about it. I, I, I would be lying if I said I didn't spend some late nights poking at it, but it was all fun, so it's good to them. I don't think there's anybody who has not spent late nights with Harvester once they've discovered it. <laughs> sure. Yes. Yeah. It's, it's a cool, it's a really cool solution. So, and uh, that's it from here uh, at the Rancher booth from KubeCon uh, in Paris. Hopefully we see you around next time, Matt. Absolutely. You cannot get me away. Yeah, no, like I said, the more I learn about Susan, the more <laughs> I want to hang out with you guys. And just good people. Just such good people. Yeah. yeah. And we, we love having you here every time. So, I mean... 
Salt Lake City it is then. <laughs> yes, I will see you in Salt Lake City. We I've got some good breweries actually that out in Salt Lake that we can go check out. Oh, okay. Up. Then we're going to hit you up for recommendation. That's awesome. Well, awesome. Bonjour. Bonjour. Thank you.